Here is our Check Your Understanding for Lesson 2, 3, 3, Part B, where we are working on generic rectangles, greatest common factor, and relating that to a multiplication sentence. So let's start up here with first we have to find the GCF of 40 and 32. So I'm going to create my GCF tree. I like to start with 2 when I have an even number, and 2 times 20 equals 40. I circle my factor that is prime, then I move to my next one. 2 times 10 equals 20. 2 is a prime factor. 10 can further be factored down into 2 and 5. Both 2 and 5 are prime factors, so I'm going to circle it. Remember, circling it just helps me keep track of where my prime factors are. So then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write the prime factorization of 40, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And I can check that by saying 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40, so that matches up. Then I'm going to do 32. I'm going to divide by 2 since it's an even number, and 2 times 16 equals 32. 2 is a prime factor, so I'm going to circle that. 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 is my prime factor. What times what equals 8? 2 times 4 equals 8. There we go. And off to the side, 2 times 2 equals 4. So my prime factorization for 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then I'm going to look for the factors that they have in common, which is 2. We have a pair of 2s, and we have another pair of 2s. There aren't any more 5s down here, and there aren't any more 2s for 40. So these are my only factors that are similar. And then I will multiply all of those together to get my GCF, which is 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So my GCF is 8. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use my GCF in my generic rectangle. And we had talked about how the GCF goes at the top. So I'm going to put 8 here. And then I'm going to ask myself, 8 times what equals 40? And 8 times 5 equals 40. So 5 would go right here. And then again, I'm going to ask myself 8 times what equals 32. And 8 times 4 equals 32. So then coming down here, we have 8 times 5 plus 4 equals 8 times 5 which is 40, plus 8 times 4, which is 32, and that equals 72. Then let's move on to 
our next. Find the GCF of 120 and 18. So I'm going to start with my smaller number, 18. And 2 times 9 equals 18. 2 is my prime. What times what is 9? Which is 3 times 3. Both 3's are prime factors, so my prime factorization of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Then I'm going to go over to 120. And I know, because there's a 0 here, that I could do 10 times 12. And each of these can be factored down into smaller numbers, so 2 times 5 equals 10, and those are both prime numbers. And then 12 can be 3 and 4. 3 is a prime number, and then 4 would be 2 and 2. So 120, and remember, I like to list them from smallest to largest, so I have three twos, one three and one five. So let's look for what we have in common. They both have a two and they both have a three. So our GCF is two times three or six. Then I'm going to use my GCF down here. And we again talked about how GCF we put at the top, so 6. So I'm going to ask myself, what times 6 equals 120? I could figure that out over here using some long division. And I'll ask myself, 6 goes into 12 how many times? Which is 2. And then I could minus 12, which is 0. And then I bring down my 0, and a 6 goes into 0 how many times? 20. So then we have 20 here, plus what times what equals 18? 6 times 3 equals 18. Then I'll go down here and write my multiplication sentence using the parentheses. So I have my 6 which goes on the outside, multiplied 20 plus 3, which equals, I'm going to distribute 6 times 20, which is 120, plus 6 times 3, which equals 18. And both of those match my generic rectangle model. And so my answer is 138. And then finally, our spicy one. Spicy 54. First, we have to find our GCF. It's an even number, so I'm going to start with 2. 2 goes into 54. Two, 27 times. I'm going to circle 2 because 2 is a prime number. And then I'll ask myself what times what equals 27. And I know that 3 times 9 equals 27. 3 is a prime number. And then 3 and 3 multiply to equal 9. So 54, my prime factorization, is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Then I'm going to do 216. 216 is an even number, so I'm going to break that down. And then 21, 2 goes into that. 1, and then 16, 108. 2 is a prime factor, so I'm going to circle that. And then again, I'm going to do 2, just to break it down. 54. And then I have 54 here already, so I'm going to 
just bring all that over here. So 216, I have one, two, three twos. and three threes. So then I'll ask myself what is equal here. So our GCF is two times three times three times three, which is actually 54. So I know my GCF is 54. So then I'm gonna go down here my GCF we have been putting at the top and then am I going to ask myself 54 times what equals 216? 54 times what equals 54? That one's easy because it's 1. And then 54 multiplied by 4 will equal 216. So then let's take our information here and create our multiplication sentence. So we have 54 times 4 plus 1. And then we'll distribute that 54 to each of our numbers. And we'll have 54 times 4, which is 216, plus 54 times 1, which is 54. So our answer is, I'm going to do a little bit of math up here because I like to line my numbers up. We have 10, 7, 2 is 270. So that is going through all the steps of finding your GCF, relating it to an area model, and then using that area model factors to create an equation down here.